Welcome back to the RAZ YouTube channel. My name is Roberto George and I hope you are having a great day. You might have watched a lot of our products in our videos, but you might still have a few questions. Actually, at least one question, which is what's the difference between them? You may not know what an HDMI switch or splitter is or why do you need a matrix or video wall. So this video, I will try to help you and understand why and how you might want to use these devices. First, let's take a look at what kind of devices we will be discussing right over here. Now, first of all, we will take a look at an HDMI splitter, then we will move to HDMI switch and then an HDMI matrix multi-viewer and video wall controller. So let's start by taking a look at an HDMI splitter. Now, an HDMI splitter is a device that it's used to mirror or duplicate content from a single media source to multiple displays. You can identify an HDMI splitter just by looking at the port. An HDMI splitter would have a single HDMI input and multiple HDMI output. Port. For example, I've got here the BK102A, which we will leave a link down below, and which you can see as a single HDMI port on the left labeled in and two ports on the right labeled out. This is one input to output HDMI splitter. Now, where would I use a splitter such as this? This one. So these are usually used in electronic stores where you can see multiple TVs that are playing exactly the same content at the same time. You may use these at home as well to view content from one single media source like an Apple TV or Fire TV stick on two different displays in two different rooms for example. So an HDMI splitter is as simple as as this. Now let's take a look at HDMI switch, which is exactly the opposite of an HDMI splitter. It will allow us to take content from multiple sources and output them on a single display at one time, as opposed to a splitter where you will find multiple HDMI input ports and a single HDMI output port. So I've got here as an example the BK401 link down below as well and you can see that it has four HDMI inputs at the back labeled input and a single HDMI port at the side labeled output. So we can use this to connect multiple media sources like cable box and Xbox a PS5 to our single HDMI port on our TV. So only one cable going to the TV, all the devices will connect directly this device right over here, which is a switch. And this basically will reduce the hassle of disconnecting and reconnecting cables every time that we use a different media source. With an HDMI switch, you can also connect them all at once and then just switch between them using a remote control or the button that we have here on the switch. So we have seen a splitter and we also have seen a switch, but you must be saying, okay, but I have multiple media sources, but I don't have only one display. I've got two displays place or more than that. So what should I use? Well, we also have an answer for that and it's an HDMI matrix. So an HDMI matrix will combine the functionality of a splitter and a switch, giving us the best of both worlds. An HDMI matrix has multiple HDMI input ports and also multiple HDMI output ports. So we have here the BK402A, link down below as well, and you can see it has four HDMI ports labeled input and two HDMI ports labeled output. This is a four input to output HDMI matrix. So we can connect multiple media sources and multiple displays to an HDMI matrix and then send different content to different displays exactly at the same time, which is Awesome. So for example, if I have my cable box connected to input one and I want to display on output one, I can do that as simple as this. And at the same time, I can have my Blu-ray player, which is connected to input four displayed on output two, which is my TV number two or display number two, but you get the idea. Now I can also have the input one, for example, displayed on both outputs at the same time if I want the same image on both displays. So basically using it as a splitter, but we have that choice. And I can keep switching between the four inputs on output two, using it as 
a switch. And these are usually used in household setups. And if your setup is similar to this, then this might be a great option. But in some cases, in commercial setups. And now that you know these three kinds of devices, the splitter, the switch, and the matrix, let's take a look at multi viewers and video wall controllers which will take things a little bit further. So I'm sure that you have seen in security surveillance rooms, you must have seen people viewing multiple camera angles and footages on one single display. So how do they do that? And what if I want to be able to do the same thing at my own home with my media devices? Now, in that particular case, you would need a multi-viewer. Basically, what a multi-viewer does is taking the media from connected media devices that we have and then output them on a single display at the same time. It divides them up to different quadrants on the screen so you can watch all four, for example, at the same time. Now, multi-viewers are able in switch or matrix variants. I've got here the HDS 402 MV, which has four inputs and two outputs. Or it also has some multi-viewer switches as well, such as the UHD 201 MV, UHD 401 MV, and UHD 401 MV. And these are multi-viewers with multiple inputs and a single output but to help you out the links will be down below so that you can check all the specifications so showing multiple media on a single display it's actually pretty simple using one of these multi viewers but what if i have multiple displays to show one media device on spread out across making it into a large screen so this is a little bit more complex but we can solve it easily and you must have seen these kind of setups on malls and concert halls where they connect multiple displays to display a single image on a large display so we will need a video wall controller for that and a video wall controller will take your media and split or divide into for example four equal parts to output on your four displays and this would be a two by two video wall setup which is the most common one now video wall controllers are available in splitter or matrix variants and i've got here the uhd 14 vw which has one input and four outputs and you can use this to create a standard two by two video wall setup using four displays or to create some other setups like four times one where you can stack the four displays on top of each other to create a vertical video wall and if you only have three displays you can create a one by three horizontal video wall but this is not the only option that we have there are also video controllers available like the uhds 404 vw and the uhd 808 vw which give us multiple inputs now ore also has taken the world of av one step further by introducing the new uhd 44 mvw which is a matrix with video wall and multi-view functions so if you want to get everything this is the model that you want and the link will be down below so that you can see how incredible it is and hopefully this video helped you out to understand a little bit better the basic functionality of a switch a splitter a matrix a multi-viewer or even a video wall controller but of course if you still have any questions you can reach out to our support team at info at ora.com or even leave a comment down below on this video all the info will be also down below my name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.